Good morning, guys. I'm gonna do a what I eat in a day, ooh, sorry. What I eat in a day video today for you. It is super cloudy and overcast. It's this weather, I swear, this year's been like so crazy. It's summertime one day, then pouring rain the next. I feel like we don't live in California. Usually it's like the same all the time. And now, who even knows? I feel like this is probably what most people experience, but not me. But I hope you guys all enjoy today's What I Eat in a Day, and let's get to it. I already had some coffee. I love this coffee mug. I got it from CB2. You guys know I was on the hunt for some cute mugs. And see, I also got this one from CB2. This one is very cute from H&M Home. I'll try to link a few of these for you. Uh, this one is also CB2. They have so many great mugs. This is kind of like a random site where I found this one, but this is probably my favorite one. Like I, I reach for this one and the H&M Home one the most. Actually, maybe this one. Aren't they really cute? I somehow ordered two of these. I meant to get one. I don't know if they sent me two or what, but we've got two of those brown ones. Um, this one I don't love as much. This one's CB2. It just feels a little bit too delicate, so I don't grab for that one as much. But yeah, did want to show those because if you guys follow me on Instagram, it was a coffee cup saga. So um, I had coffee already, and I added a little spoonful of honey along with some half and half. This is what I added to it. I Last time I got this, the lactose-free one, and I feel like they taste the same, but I kind of like not having the lactose in it. And I just shake this up so it's a little frothy and I pour a little bit in. Like usually I just do a little bit of milk, but it's kind of nice to have half and half every now and then. And my parents were in town and that's what they like for their coffee, so that's why we have it here. Something else that's good, this is some coconut milk. I've been using this in our smoothies and I have it in like the can form and I just pour it in here to save it. You just shake it up because the cream separates with the milk part, um, but that's super good too. If you want something that is dairy free uh, or sometimes I make my almond milk. I also have been making Brazil nut milk, which is good too. So yeah, I kind of switch it up for what I'm adding to my coffee, but some type of milk. And then I also have been doing a tad bit of honey we just got some local honey. We've all had pretty bad allergies this season, so I definitely wanted to find some local honey because we got this from Costco recently, but it's not local. So um, it tastes really good, but yeah. If you have allergies, definitely find local honey. So I'm starving. I haven't really eaten anything yet. I'm gonna make all of us a Dutch baby and share that recipe with you guys because I've shared it on Instagram a few times, but not here and it's just so delicious. I've tried a few different recipes for it and I think I found my favorite one. So what you're gonna need is a cast iron pan and it's not many ingredients. Butter, flour, a tablespoon of sugar, um, nutmeg, I think three eggs is what I use. I'll put the exact recipe down below for you, but let's get started and make this for me and the kids. Okay, so you wanna use a blender because you want it to be really smooth. If you don't have a blender, you can just mix it really, really well. Three eggs. Okay, first step is you add butter to a cast iron skillet while it's preheating. It's a lot of butter. So actually, I think I just did, I think I did three tablespoons last time and it, oops, I think it turned out fine. I feel like that's kind of a lot. Let's just do that. So add it to your cast iron skillet, stick it in the oven while it preheats. The other thing they say to do is to have room temperature ingredients. Now I don't ever do that and it turns out fine, but um, that would probably make it puff up more. The other thing is, it says whole milk. And I don't have whole milk, but we have the half and half, and we have 2% milk. So I mix them together. We have our flour, a little bit of sugar, three eggs, and then you do a dash of nutmeg, and it kind of just gives it a really unique taste. still on the side, so I'm gonna scrape it down. All right, for the top 
toppings, we're gonna do strawberries. Got some strawberries. I'm gonna cut them up a little bit smaller for the kids. And then I love sprinkling some powdered sugar on top and a little bit of maple syrup. I'm gonna let this sit for a second while the butter is preheating, or the oven's preheating and the butter is melting. I don't know if you can hear me at all. They're doing weights. They're doing lunges with my weights. Um, but while you wait, this will thicken up a little bit, the batter, and then like everything will just absorb a little. So I'll set that aside, chop up the strawberries a little bit smaller, clean up, and I just think this is such a fun thing to serve if you have company over, because it's very, like, <laughs> it looks very impressive how it puffs up and it's, it's delicious. Okay, so I took out the pan. Make sure you use a pot holder because this is piping hot. But I'm just gonna make sure this butter is all the way melted. And then you pour the batter directly in the center. Okay, I'm gonna try to do this while filming at the same time. Okay, pour all that batter in. And then I'm gonna stick this in the oven. The kids are asking me like crazy for their gummies. So I'm gonna show you our big gummy lineup right now that we have going. <clears throat> I mix these up every now and then. So here's what we have right now. These are for the kids. These are all from Mary Ruth's. These are the kids probiotic gummies. We have the kids magnesium calm and just the multi. So I have these for each of them, they'll come get them. And then I've been taking the collagen and the organic women's vitamins right now. Hey guys, do you want your gummies? Yes. These? Okay, one of these. You want to separate them? One probably? of these. One. One. Got, we got samples. Like Those are mom's. Okay, you got two. Two. You got strawberry, you got strawberry. Okay. Yeah. Those, that's mine. Oh, I get berry. Oh, yeah. Did you each get? You should have four. Do yeah. you each have four? I have, um, sorry. Three? Hmm. What are you missing? Hmm. I don't have um one of those one of Owen? these things like you. Oh, know, these are mine. Let me see. Okay, Owen. Oh, here. Yeah, I'm only one. Oh, okay. Good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I have a code for you guys that is actually active on their website and you can use it on Amazon. So that code is MRO Kendra 20. So I'll have that down below for you, but they have other stuff besides just like gummies. Uh, we love them for all of their little kind of tincture products. This is the B12 I love. Um, we have like a bunch of the kids ones. This is the zinc. I don't think I've ever mentioned this before. This is a skincare probiotic. Whenever the kids get any type of cut, scrape, I always spray this on, like I'll rinse their cut and then I spray this. And it helps with so many things. It helps with a bunch of healing. There are seven live strains in here. It can be used for cuts, scrapes, acne, psoriasis, rosacea, eczema, rashes, bites, ringworm, cold sores, athlete's foot, yeast infections, jock itch, abrasions, burns, fever blisters, pink eye, staph, MRSA, fungus so like literally this is such a good thing to have for so many random ailments you have to get this in your arsenal of medicine if you are a mom highly highly recommend having this with you so in our medicine cabinet we keep that up this is like our boo-boo kit so i have our mary ruth's probiotic spray we have our band-aids here arnica so this is kind of like if anybody gets hurt this is what i grab all right our Dutch baby is out of the oven and it looks so cool. Every time you make it, it'll have a slightly different puff to it, depending on the butter and like where you pour the batter. Isn't that just so impressive? So what I like to do is use a spatula and hold it with a oven mitt and try to slide it out of this onto a cutting board. Okay, so this one actually is gonna slide out quick because it's not sticking at all. Oh, stick to Tad. Okay, Whoop, we got a little collapse, but that's okay. So there we go. So it flattens out once it comes out of the oven, it will lose its puff. So just know that it's not gonna be puffy the whole time. And then I just use a pizza cutter to slice it. 
And then everybody likes to pick their own piece. There we go. Strawberries. Grab a plate. Really? Pretty good. Mm. Pretty inside. I'm like strawberry dog. Ooh. Yeah, me. Whoa, jeez. Mm. <laughs> okay, it is lunchtime. We are making some grilled cheese sandwiches. Got this bread at Costco this week. I really like their bread. Um, I've been getting. We usually just get sourdough bread. But I like getting bread like this, like a softer bread for different sandwiches for the kids. Like they like it more for PB and J. I just do like a platter for them today, which tends to, I don't know, I feel like they eat more this way. I found this little tray at Ralph's, isn't that so cute? So we did two of these on here. I'm gonna do some more avocado. Oh, you wanted those ones instead? Okay, I'll do, I'll do half and half, how about that? And then grilled cheese, and then I'll put some strawberries on here too. All bread. right, here is lunch for the kids. We got a smorgasbord of food. I want each one. Looks pretty good. I am gonna make my lunch. So something I've been loving to do is avocado toast with two over easy eggs on top. It's so delicious. Here is the bread that I get. Super pure, so if you're sensitive to gluten, sourdough, like pure sourdough bread is much easier to digest than one with added stuff and just normal bread. Like I won't eat the bread that they're eating right now, but every now and then I'll have a slice of this. And I think this toaster gets an award for the best toaster ever because this was on our wedding registry, which was 11 years ago. And it served us very well. My mom even got the same one because I told her it's the best. <laughs> we got it from Crate and Barrel. Something I started doing now is cooking my eggs. I'm using the same pans. This is cheese from the grilled cheese. Um, cooking my eggs in butter, it just tastes so much better to me. And I love getting a little more fat in my meal. It satiates me for longer. And I love it. And I like my eggs over easy. So I'll wait till the whites are a little bit more white and then I'll flip those over to keep the yolks nice and soft. Okay, so for my avocado toast, I usually use half of an avocado, mash it up, and then I do some pepper, some salt, pink salt, some red pepper flakes, this is the red chili pepper from um, Trader Joe's. And this um, is organic lemon juice from Costco. And you buy it in like a two pack. And it's so awesome because you just keep it in the fridge and it lasts so long. You just do a little cap full and drizzle it on. It just makes it taste like super fresh. There is my lunch. And I did a little more salt on top. But the best part is that. And it just oozes on to the bread. And it's... So good. Woo! And those little rice thing I, things I gave them are these. Also from Costco. Can you tell we just went to Costco? So that is that. We are stocked on snacks. We had like nothing in our pantry for a while. So now we have food. But um, we just got a big clean in in the kitchen. I had the kids clean up down there. I just have to do a little bit more dishes but I always like to do a quick tidy before we have quiet time. I wasn't kidding when I said lunch boards are the way to go because look this is all that is left on their plate and I can save this. Yep that's fine. I'll put this in a Ziploc bag. All right I'm gonna start on dinner even though it is like what I'm gonna guess one o'clock. Yep one or three. Uh, I'm gonna start with the chicken so that it is cooking so by the time it's ready for dinner we're ready for dinner. Our meat is done and we can just basically do toppings and whatnot. We're gonna do like burrito, burrito bowls tonight. So I put a little bit of salsa verde in the bottom of the crock pot, put my two chicken breasts there, just so those don't stick to the bottom. And then on top, I'm gonna add the rest of this salsa 
on top. And then the best part is when you're done, you just put the chick the cooked chicken in your KitchenAid mixer and it makes the best, easiest shredded chicken. Okay, it's 3.45 and I'm in the mood for a snack. I want something just salty, not the healthiest snack, but I'm gonna finish these and then I'm gonna have some popcorn. So I open this to see if it's cooked and it's definitely cooked. Sorry, I want it just woke up from a nap. Um, and it is just falling apart. So I definitely don't need to put it in the mixer to shred it. I'm just gonna break it up with this wooden spoon, but it smells so good. Let me show you what we have going on. I have some onions that I'm browning up and a little butter. And then we have some rice. This was just like the easy three minute rice. I just add some butter and salt in there. The chicken looks great. We have some cheese, some refried beans. I'm gonna cut up an avocado and then I am heating, I'm gonna heat up some tortillas. So I'll make burritos for the kids. I'm just gonna have like a bowl with all of this. Can I sit here? Mm -hmm. okay. Good eating, Owen. Can you sit it right there? Yeah, I'll sit close to you. All right, so here's my dinner. Mm -hmm. I love just doing like a bowl like this and you can just mix it all up. And then also just easy for leftovers for lunch. That is gonna be the end of today's video. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. We're gonna go put away some laundry upstairs. But that is all for today. I will see you all in my next video.